Hello, it's Rebecca from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I am designing a layout for Pear Tree Cut Files. Now, I'm really excited about this layout and this cut file is really special for me. So, Marie over at Pear Tree Cut Files, as an early Christmas present to all of us on her design team, she offered to make a cut file of our choice and name it after us. So for my cut file, I requested the word Merry with a festive floral cluster behind it. Similar to the happy one she did in one of the earlier releases. And this is what she came up with. And it is exactly as I had it pictured in my head. So I'm really, really chuffed. So big thank you to Marie for this. So the cut file was part of the December release. So it's already available in the store. You can buy it as either a digital download if you've got your own cutting machine or as a pre-cut cut file, um, which means Marie will cut it for yourself and ship it out to you. So I'm backing each of my letters with a patterned paper. This one is by Photoplay. Um, the collection is Not a Creature Was Stirring. I think it's possibly from last year. I think it's a slightly older collection. But as you saw, I've just, with a pencil, drawn around the inside of each of the letters. So I do it on the back of the paper. So I flip the cut file over and trace it on the back of the patterned paper, just so that I don't have to then worry about rubbing out pencil lines after. Um, and I just trace the inside of the letter and then I cut it slightly bigger, leaving a border so that there's um, like an overlap for me to stick it down. So I'm just going to stick each of the letters down with PVA glue um, and then I can move on to backing the leaves. So I asked for um, a mixture of holly leaves, berries, things like that, um, nice festive feel to it. I'm just wiping off the excess PVA glue there and then I need to pop in the centres of my R's. Sometimes I leave these out, um, like these letters you can clearly see they're both R's so I could have left them out and then popped something like a flare or a sticker in the middle um, when it came to embellishing but I decided to replace the letters, uh, sorry the centres on this one. Um, so I just stick them down and then with a craft knife and just a cutting mat I just go round and carefully cut the centre out there. I could have used my silhouette machine to cut these letters. Um, at the time of cutting the file, I was super excited when I saw it. I cut it straight away. I hadn't actually planned what patterned paper to use. But had I have known at the time of cutting it, I could have cut the letters separately onto a patterned paper straight away um, and offset them, make them slightly bigger with that overlap there to glue them down. Um, but that's quite easy, so um, why take the easy route? So I just have to go around and just manually trace everything and cut it out. So it took me a while to decide on a green paper um, for my florals. There is the photos I'm using for this cut file, uh, sorry, for this layout, are of my little boy. We visited the outdoors section of our local garden centre recently and they were getting ready, setting up for their Christmas winter wonderland walk and um, Santa's grotto. Still not sure if it's all going ahead, but they were setting up for it anyway. And we came across this little wooden hut um, that had a Christmas sort of bunting banner along the top and some garlands. So it's got different shades of green in it. So I've used um, a couple of different green patterned papers from my Christmas stash. And I've used a red one just to fill in the berries at the top there. It took me a while to decide on the placement for my photos, but I have decided to go with them above my cut file. So I'm just using a pencil to draw a faint line around the edge because I want to add some mixed media to my background. I'm just using the packaging technique to add the colour on. I think this is this is a Distress ink pad and I think it's Festive Berries, this one. Um, it's either Festive Berries or Candied Apple, can't remember. Um, I'll check and add it in the description box below. But I'm just adding a tiny bit of water to my packaging. I don't want a complete colour wash, I wanted it to look quite patchy um, with lots of white space and some paint splatters and things. So I've only added a small amount of water and I'm 
covering the back just so that there will be colour peeking out around the outside of my cart file and at the top where my photos will sit. And then I just come in with some extra water and ink and a paintbrush and just add lots of red splatters. And just dry the excess off with a kitchen towel. I haven't used any gesso on this page. Um, I don't often use gesso if I'm honest. Um, I said in a previous video, if I'm using loads and loads of water, then I will. But I knew I wasn't gonna add tons of water to this background, so I didn't add gesso. And I've not used my heat gun, so it's not warped my background cardstock too much. I'm just coming in and adding some gold splatters as well. That is a Heidi Swap gold colour shine. Um, just It's getting really old now, so I just had to stir it up with a paintbrush because all the shimmery glitter was sat at the bottom of the bottle. So I just gave that a stir and added some of that because what's a Christmas layout without gold, right? And I'm using gold in my title, so I wanted to get some more gold on the page. I wanted to add some layers behind my photos, so I've added a layer of white cardstock just to give them some separation from my background. And then I've used um, the same patterned paper that I used for my cut file letters. So I've done a layer of the red side and then the back of that paper, as you can see there, is um, like a it's, a, it's not quite turquoise, it's not quite mint, it's kind of an in-between green colour um, with white snowflakes on. So I'm just adding a layer of that as well and I distress the edges with both with my scissors. And as you can see, I was running out of green. I didn't have a big enough piece to back my photo completely, but that doesn't matter because I always have my photos slightly overlapping. So the photo that had a gap there, I've just put slightly tucked underneath the other one so you can't even notice it. And then I just go around all my cut file with some adhesive craft foam. I love this stuff, it's brilliant for backing, uh, sorry, for adhering cut files because it's sticky on one side already, it's just super quick. And then just a quick layer of PVA glue on the back and voila, my cut file is stuck. And I do the same thing with my photos. I generally try and leave a bit of space around the edge when I add foam to my photos and that's just in case I want to tuck any embellishments or any other layers underneath. Just gives me a little bit of space to add things in. And I've got this gold glittered sticker here that says Christmas um, which will complete my title of Merry Christmas. So that's just going to sit along the bottom of my letters there. And then I'm just going to go through my Christmas stash and pick out some bits to embellish my layout. This little thing I'm cutting up here has been recycled from a Christmas card a few years ago, I think. Um, I just pulled it off the front and I've just snipped the, um, the, the edges on the left and right there just to make it into a bow shape. Um, at the moment, I've sat it at the top of my cut file, but it's going to move up to the top of my page. Uh, so I've got a holly wreath up at the top, which I really liked because in my photo you've got the Merry Christmas um, bunting and there is actually a holly wreath in the middle at the top there. So I've placed an ephemera piece there and I will move that little tartan bow um, with the bell to the bottom of that. The presents I've tucked to the left and right of my photos there have been fussy cut from a patterned paper. It's by Kazercraft and it's um, the Peppermint Kisses collection. It was a whole sheet of um, different coloured presents. So I have fussy cut the whole sheet beforehand, um, probably last year actually. Uh, I've just pulled a few of those out to stick either side. Um, I've got some other bits going on. So I think that Santa hat and the stocking as well, I believe. And I've got a floral custer underneath the word Christmas there. They are from um, Simple Stories collections. I think it's a mixture of Holly Jolly and the Say Cheese Christmas collection. I've also pulled out some Christmas trees there. I was trying to make work either side of my photos. Um, they don't end up staying there, I didn't like them. And I'm just playing around now with some floral clusters, trying to fit things in. That sticker I've popped at the bottom there, that is from the Simple Stories Holly Jolly collection. And it just says December Memories. 
So um, I think we visited this garden centre on like the 1st or 2nd of December or something. So it was kicking off our festive season. So that worked really well. I've got a couple of other bits I've stuck on there. So over to the left of my M, I've got a round piece with some holly leaves on it and a little tag that says with love. That again has been recycled from uh, an old Christmas card. Never throw your Christmas cards away, seriously. You can get so much stash from Christmas cards. Um, I always used to recycle them. And as a kid, we used to sit with my mum and cut things out and then they would be used as the gift tags for the following year. Um, but now as an adult, I used to do that, but now I've discovered scrapbooking, I cut my Christmas cards up and use them for ephemera pieces. So um, good tip there, don't recycle your Christmas cards. And then what I do, that tag and the stocking you see on the bottom left there, I just pierce a hole through both of those and thread um, some gold thread through in, you go, you just see there, um, and just tied a bow in both of those. And just going to add some gold thread tangles as well to my layout to spread some more gold. Um, those Christmas trees I've added there, I've got a big one to the left of my photo and a smaller one in a pot to the right of my photo. They are from the Carterbella Farmhouse Christmas um, Element sticker sheet. Um, I've put them onto cardstock first, you probably saw me doing, and then just cut them out because I wasn't sure on placement. Um, if you're always unsure with stickers, it's a really good tip I picked up from watching Missy Wooden. Um, stick your stickers onto scrap cardstock and cut them out and then they just work as like ephemera or die cut pieces and you can move them around until you're happy with their position. Um, so that's a great tip from Missy there that I picked up and I, I do that quite often now. And I just finish my layout off with some more gold splatters from the Heidi Swap Gold Colour Shine. And that's me done. So thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you very much to Marie for designing this cut file for me. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, and I'm so pleased that I've used it straight away to document our early December memories. So please do check out the Pear Tree Cut Files website. There's also a Facebook group if you'd like to join. Um, we have a freebie every Wednesday and tons of inspiration from everybody sharing their layouts. Um, and there's also monthly challenges. So please do come over and join if you haven't already. So thank you very much and I'll leave you with the close-ups and I'll see you next time.